Call me crazy if you want, but I've never liked store-bought pesto. Oh, you sound so freaking insane, but I've got a story for you. And we're gonna go way back all the way to March this year. Some of you guys that probably know me personally will probably be like, well, why didn't you talk about the way you're on? Well, I didn't want to talk about it just because it was a weird situation and we were trying to get out of the apartments we were living in and uh, we'll just kind of start from there. We just got home from work, we got ourselves changed and situated, and we're getting ready to head on to the movies to watch the new Scream movie. And um, before we went to the movies, we went and had some Taco Bell. And it's pretty typical, you know, of cheap dinner. You know, movies typically want to charge like 15, 20 bucks for a popcorn and drink. And for myself, I'm a huge Scream fan, so I'm super excited. I'm not sure about my wife, on the other hand. I still don't know if she still is really big into the series, but we both really enjoyed the movie. And it was a very great movie for the time frame when it came out. Well, so a few hours passed by, and, you know, the movie's over with and everything. We start heading on home, we get on home, and uh, we're actually getting ready for bed. I think I want to say it was, like, maybe 9, 10 o'clock at night or something, and we just got changed and everything, got pajamas, and, uh, I don't know, but Gracie just went to the bathroom, I went upstairs, and I was kind of getting myself situated out. And we lived in a home that was two floors, right? So just kind of just keep listening. My wife comes upstairs, and we're kind of getting ourselves relaxed, ready for bed, and we hear a really loud pop sound. Gracie's immediate like, hey, Mikey, hey, Mikey, can you go check on that? Hey, Mikey. I'm just thinking, well, you know, something probably fell or something. And I mean, this is a really loud pop sound. You know, I'm kind of walking down the stairs, kind of going down there. And, you know, I look down at the floor and I'm a little confused. But like where the hallway is, when you first go down the hallway, down the stairs, and you look to your right, there's the bathroom. Well, when I looked into the bathroom, there was water gushing out of the toilet. And the first thought we thought was, like, I looked over at my wife, and I was like, you're not going to believe this, but our toilet literally exploded. And Gracie's like, well, that was good old Taco Bell, probably. And we're just, like, you know, making jokes about it. And, uh, yeah, we're still trying to figure out what the heck's going on. Our toilet literally exploded, and we don't know what the exact happened. I'll, I'll just show you some pictures so you can kind of see. Here's uh, here's one photo here. As you can kind of look there, there's a... Uh, it's kind of weird. And the water was just literally everywhere. I even thought it'd be a good idea to, you know, take a selfie with it as a good memory for myself. So, yeah, I looked pretty great that day, didn't I? Yeah, I don't know how to go about this, but um, our toilet literally exploded, and I have no idea what's happening. I think we need to get somebody over here immediately. And the lady I was talking to on the phone just thought I was the craziest person in the world and just was trying to figure out, like, why I was stating the toilet exploded and, and was wanting me to check all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, no, literally, the, there's, the back of the toilet exploded for no reason. He was like, oh, we'll get somebody over there first thing in the morning. We'll have him take a look at it, and I'm trying to figure out how to turn the water off. So I decided to call, you know, my wife's dad because he typically – you know, is into like repairs and knows how to fix things and kind of knows kind of what's going on. So I get him on the phone and I'm talking to him and stuff and I'm kind of showing him like, he's like, let me see what's going on there. So, and I looked and there was a little hole in the wall. We got the water turned off and looking at the hole and we were looking around and he was like, that's a bullet. And I'm just scratching my head and I'm just like, really? And I'm kind of looking more into the deep of the, 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 the toilet bowl and there's actually shards of what looks like metal. So we ended up basically going from talking to the maintenance person to calling the police and being like, what the heck's going on? I get them on the phone and I'm like, I think somebody shot at my apartment area. And the cops are all like freaking out and everything. And the next thing I know, we've got like cops kind of coming in. We had like three or four cop cars coming in. And then Gracie thought it'd be a good idea to joke around with the cop and was like, yeah, I thought, I thought it was just Taco Bell. I just thought, I just, I, I, I just, Taco Bell is what happens when you have it. And, and the police officer thought it was very humorous on the other hand. And we kind of just joked about it. But then like when we told, you know, uh, our parents about it, they were like, you can't be joking about that. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, but there is um, a couple bullet holes right there. And there's the one that, uh, that's the, that's where the entryway happened, not the Taco Bell. I don't know exactly what was going on around the neighborhood, but I am so glad we don't live there anymore. And, um, it was a very crazy situation. Everybody thought we were kind of joking around with some stuff, but it was a very serious scenario. And I am so glad to be alive.